class we have discussed about the basic architecture of the GSM network so today we are going to discuss about NDD so we have the very first entity in network architecture is mobile station so mobile station has a SIM which stands for subscriber identity module now basically it is an electronic chip and this subscriber or identity module contains the user related information now this mobile station can catch the signal from tower on which antenna is mounted so this antenna is rf antenna RF which is radio frequency antenna that means it emits the various radio frequencies and my mobile station will catch these radio frequencies so that it can attach to the network. So this RF antenna is connected to a part which is called as BTS. Now as we have discussed that in BSS part we have BTS and BSC. So this uh, antenna is connected to BTS that means all signals from various mobile station will be passed to the BTS. Now what is this connection that means what is this media? We know that this is interface is an air interface. Now we talk about this media through which my antenna is connected to BTS so we have this as a wired media. So we are using here feeder and jumper wires. So feeder wire is a thick wire which is not that much easy to flexible or bend it. So that's why in between when we require bending we have to use jumper wires which are flexible in nature. So, so to make their connections we can use connectors as well. So other than this, if you see the tower on which we have another type of antenna also, which is circular in shape. So we call it as that these are microwave antennas. Now microwave antennas works on principle of line of sight. So why we require microwave antenna? If we want to connect one side to another, that means this is another VTS. So we require line of sight communication. So we can use microwave antenna here at this end for handover purposes. So VTS will do the signal processing and after that it passes the signal, all signals to BSC. Now BSC is having signals from multiple VTS. Because we know that BSC can handle minimum 10 and maximum 100 up to 100 BTS. So it is having signal from all the sides. So it is controlling the number of BTS. Handover decision, roaming decision has been taken by base station controller. That's why its name as base station controller because it controls all the base stations. Base stations will be our BTS which are controlling the number of mobile station. So signals will be passed to BTS from BTS to BSC. So this entity that means this we call it as this part which comprises of BTS and BSC which is base station subsystem. In our network architecture description like in our last class we have discussed about architecture complete layout. In BSS part we have BTS and VSC with this tower. Tower is at antenna RF antenna which emits the radio frequency. So this is mobile station mobile station is attached to now right here bss base station subsystem now this is attached to a core network the core network as network station subsystem here we have msc mobile switching center now this is the controller of the complete network with this we have HLR, we connected VLR, 
EIR, AUC connected to SMSC, we have GMSC, we have PSD, public switch telephone network which is landline network. Now this is a mobile station which, which is having mobility as a feature. Now this is having fixed line. In order to make call possible from mobile station to fixed line and from fixed line to mobile station, we require that there should be connection between the fixed line network and our mobile network. So that's why we have connected our MSC with the PSTN so that we will be able to process calls from mobile station to PSTN and PSTS PSTN to mobile station. That's why here we have the connection. Now, as we know that MSC is center controller of the network, so it has to process each and every signal. It has to route calls. That's why it's called as switching because it has to route call from one person to another person because my mobile station do not have any information where to route the call. The routing information is there in the MSC. If we talk about the very first database with the MSC, which is HLR, HLR as home location register. From the home location register, that means that it stores the permanent location of the users. When we purchase a SIM card, we give them a permanent address. So accordingly, a HLR will be assigned to us. That means HLR will save our all permanent locations. Now, Next, we move to VLR. VLR as visitor location register. That means when we change our location, we are roaming, we are moving from a, one end to another end to another end and so on up to. That means all our changing locations will be saved in VLR. We can say that for tracking purpose, we can have the database of HLR. We can see the database HLR as well as VLR because it is saving our location when we move as well as a permanent location. Now let's move to the EIR. EIR as Equipment Identity Register. Now accordingly we have in EIR, EIR we have three list. White, black and gray. Now white list has all the normal users. Black list are the blacklisted users with which there will be no processing of the call and gray list will be for service denied users for example incomings are blocked or outgoings are blocked so we have if you are a white uh, user then it will pass you if you are a blacklist it will block you if you are gray list then it will check the service and accordingly it will pass authentication center it has to authenticate the user whether the user is authenticated it has to authenticate it has to verify the user so here in a sim card we have a key store if we are purchasing SIM of a Airtel company, so SIM card has a key store and same, the same key is there in the authentication center of a Airtel database. So here there, there will be matching of the keys. If the key will match, then only network will allow you because it has authenticated that if you have the key, you can access me. SMSC is short message service center. It will save and route all the SMS we are forwarding or we are sending. So this is in GSM core network. Other than this gateway, MSC will connect the various MSCs together. So, largest the number of mobile station, then we have BTS, then BTS, BSC, BSC, MSC, and main controller is there is a gateway MSC and which is of India. So, it is required so that we can connect one country to another country. This is about description of GSM architecture. Thank you so much.